What's up, Madden 17 Gamers? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're just going to get on, we're going to play a game, and I'm just going to share some of my thoughts <clears throat> about a couple things uh, when watching some of the Madden tournaments, and uh, just kind of want to share some thoughts. I haven't got a video up in a long time, so uh, definitely overdue on that. But anyways, uh, doing a couple of new things here, and I think it would be good for you guys uh, to check it out. May help, may be helpful to, to some of you. One thing that you're noticing, if you guys are watching the Madden uh, Challenge or the Madden Bowl or the tournaments that EA Sports uh, have been posting, is uh, a lot of a lot of interesting little deals, especially uh, concepts to beat Cover Two. Uh, what people are doing is they're attacking the seams, uh, the vertical seams, whether it be on the outside or especially the interior. You're seeing that quite a bit. People going to gun snugs type deal, going to four verticals. A lot of four verticals um, is is really kind of taking over. It's kind of funny though uh, when you think about it, uh, because man-to-man -man coverage I think is very underrated in this game. Uh, if you if you guys actually watch, most people when they're when they're running, they only have a couple routes that beat man. And for me, um, you know, you can definitely take that away with like a user defender or something like that. So uh, I've actually kind of been flirting around and maybe testing out some man-to-man -man coverages um, just to kind of mess around with it a little bit. Uh, it, it also does a really good job, I think, of countering your cover two zone. So, obviously, the base is the cover two zone. I think there's really no question about that at this point. That's pretty much the standard uh, across. That's probably the best defense as far as against the pass. Um, but what I'm finding is actually using man-to-man -man coverages to kind of counter it, um, especially in there I get roasted because I forgot my assignment on the tight end. Especially when you think about cross man, uh, because what people will do to beat man coverage is a couple things. So really the, the bottom line comes down to they're going to run drags, slants, or C routes. So majority though, and I feel kind of comfortable against C routes, honestly. A lot of people feel like C routes are like incredible. I actually feel really comfortable stopping C routes uh, just with man coverage. For me anyways. Now some people would disagree with that, but I... I don't C route is not what scares me. What scares me is, um, you know, the the one time my corner plays wrong in cover two and you just go over top for seven. Like I, and for me, it's more about making you have to drive up the field. So had a couple lapses there defensively. Uh, we didn't we didn't pass commit. We got hit with a play action pass. That's another thing I've saw a lot is a lot of play action passing. Um, and then also some runs like inside zone. It's surprising me. Problems really showing that inside zone is actually fairly effective. So, you know, all kinds of things across the spectrum. One thing that's interesting, I think, is just when you look at why they lose, though, uh, the funny part to me is that most people don't lose a game of Madden based on their scheme. They lose a game of Madden based off their lack of execution. So you'll see they miss a read here or they throw an interception or whatever it may be. And so I think for me, like that's why I focus so much more on like simplifying, having a very, I only run one formation and it's really not because, it's not because it's the best formation in the game, it's not because it's got the best plays, it's none of that. It's because to me, I can simplify what I'm doing and that way um, then it makes it easier for me to make reads. And so I see the same things a lot. And so when you see it multiple times, uh, what you'll find is it becomes easier to make reads uh, and make progressions there. That was one of the greatest tackles of all time by Richard Sherman. I thought I could break that. Uh, we'll go ahead and go for it because we're playing Madden, of course. That's one thing that's crazy. Like You've seen some people go for it like 4th and 30 from their 30-yard line. Like it's just it is kind of, in, it is kind of weird. Um, but I'm finding that the halfback base, especially when you motion that tight end across, normally you can power forward for at least four or five. Um, they were able to break one through the middle. Another thing I'm noticing too is that battle ready is not, like it's not the greatest thing anymore. I don't know if they've updated it or kind of nerfed it a little bit. Um, it's definitely probably the best, but not by as much of an edge. So they've kind of toned it down a, a tad, I think, um, to kind of balance it out. One thing I'm noticing is the juke move, like the precision. So if you just hold left trigger and juke, I think you break a lot of tackles with that. Um, don't hold turbo, though, because it messes it up. But um, I find that that's actually been fairly effective for me, uh, breaking tackles. 
Another thing that I'm noticing, if you guys actually go through and like watch, um, if you go through and watch the Madden Bowl or the Madden uh, Challenge, what you what you'll find is that people's offenses, again, especially if they use multiple formations, they do the same thing from like six formations. And so really they're running one play. What's crazy to me too, if you go back and watch Problem, Problem, which is kind of like the, he's like the cornerstone for me. Uh, I kind of like just look to him and try to glean some advice and wisdom from him because I think he's the best player to ever play. Uh, and what you'll find is that Problem really runs two plays he on defense he runs cover two blitz and he runs cover three blitz and that's pretty much it i mean there's not a whole lot of variation outside of that um he runs up in the same formation every time but then when he gets on offense he kind of changes his strategy and um i think everyone would agree that problem is is definitely better on defense than on offense and what's interesting to me is like why wouldn't you take the same strategy that made you so good on defense which is his user skills, simplifying his playbook down to two to three plays and making really, really good adjustments, why wouldn't you apply that same technique um, to, to your offensive game? And I think he did. The year that he had a really good offense, uh, that was Madden 13. He had a really, really good offense. He pretty much ran – he was using the Philadelphia Eagles playbook, and he really only ran like three plays. And, again, I think that's a common theme. Like if you, if you look across a lot of – a lot of really, really good players, what they do consistently is they simplify their playbook. So that's why um, people will ask me sometimes, like, why do you only run, like, four plays? That's why. Um, and I believe in it. I, I'm, I'm kind of teetering a little bit um, between, like, changing formations in certain situations. So, like, I have an I-form twins formation um, that I use a little bit. Um, but it's not, again, it's not it's not the bread and butter. Like, the bunch is the bread and butter. And if I can find a way to stay in the bunch, um, just because I think it just gives me really, really good reads. Um, there's Z-Spot coming up big for me. No real complicated thing there. I just smart routed the Z-Spot route through a high pass lead, and I know that possession catches the way to go. Um, so that's pretty much what I did there. Really nothing complicated. Normally I won't catch that. I mean, that's just one thing that you get kind of lucky at. One thing also I would suggest kicking field goals. Um, I know that, you know people have kind of had some trouble with block kicks. Uh, one thing that I'm finding is if you just hold X, like you hold the kick button at the meter for a couple seconds, normally you do okay. Normally you can get out of there and you, they won't be able to time it up to where they can block your kick. So hopefully that helps somebody. Defensively though, um, I've kind of, I'm kind of in the midst of kind of changing up a little bit from the, cause I think people are getting really comfortable to cover two. I'm doing a terrible job too of like using. One thing I've noticed is that you don't really need to click on the computer will make the interception this year. And so sometimes I still kind of get caught up in the trying to make too many user plays, like just call the right play. It's so a lot more about play calling this year than I think it ever has been in the past. Uh, not a really a running down, but he does go ahead and run. So that's a good, good little change up there. I think, again, I think just simplifying your playbook, it, it just makes it so that there's less variables. Um, one time I was playing a game a couple minutes ago, and I noticed that basically what happened was we were in a situation where I needed to have flat coverage and I tried to hot route so much and I need to have flat coverage and also need a couple other things. And next thing you know, he quick snaps the ball and I'm out of position. He throws a 30 yard uh, over the top touchdown. And I just wasn't there, wasn't ready. So again, I think it's about um, play calling, especially when you consider um, – Let's see if we can get this hot route in. Um, everything looks the same, too. That's a big deal. Um, we'll get back to that in just a minute here. It's kind of a big third down. No slants. There we go. We got him. So that's something that I do on in situations like that because, like, it's fourth down. You really only have a couple things. Dang it, he went ahead and quit out. Um, in those situations, it's fourth down. You really only have a couple things that they can do. 
So that's why I called that there. But quick video here. I, I wanted to share this with you. I kind of want to give a couple thoughts. Uh, we'll get this out to you guys, and then we'll have some other stuff coming up too. Uh, again, real quick, uh, if you can leave me just a comment of what type of video do you want. Do you want a gameplay? Do you want tips? Do you want playbook breakdowns? What do you want? What kind of game, what kind of stuff would be helpful to you? All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks.